Beautiful is one way to describe jewel beetles, but these shiny reflective insects can also cause havoc on their host plants. Since its introduction in 2002, the emerald ash borer has been decimating North America's ash trees. The emerald ash borer was found in northwest Louisiana in 2015, and researchers at the LSU Ag Center are examining what role color plays in their environment. A lot of the crux of my research is essentially trying to understand how these beetles see, how they see color, if they see color, and uh, the colors of the insects themselves, how that might be a cue or, you know, hey, look at me, here I am, uh, attraction for males and females or to find their host plants. To demonstrate his research, Lord uses a special edition LSU football helmet to help illustrate the concept of light and color. The vast majority of them are iridescent or their, their color seems to shift and change as your viewing angle changes or as the light angle changes. These bluish purple traps were being used to detect the presence of emerald ash borers in Webster Parish, but ironically, the beetles don't see it that way. Beetles are effectively blue colorblind, uh, where a lot of the traps we use have lots of blue hues. What they've done is they've made duplications into their visual genes and changed those a bit to allow them to see sort of blue-ish. The altering of visual genes could hold the key to controlling jewel beetle pest. If we are able to find out the genes that control for the colors these beetles have, altering those genes will allow uh, what would be an attractive green beetle to be a less attractive brown. These gene alterations would hopefully interfere with how beetles find their host plants or a potential mate. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.